worry no more. God is setting you free from that bondage. What they feel they know about you and no one else knows, which has made them keep you captive for so long, God is going to expose the truth, but you will not be harmed. He will make all the paths straight before you today, because He's setting you free. All the consequences of your actions that you thought you'll not be able to recover from, God will give you the strength to bear it all. All your burden is going to be light. You're not going to be the same again, but a new creature in Christ Jesus. Sometimes, the reason why most of us are living under bondage is because of the life we live. Sin has become our new normal, and the devil has used it as a means to keep us from experiencing the kind of life that the Father wants for us. We've gone so deep in secret sins, we claim that we're serving God, but we know the truth as to who we are and what we're doing. Because of the level of sins that you're committing, you no longer have the boldness to approach the throne of God. The devil has taken away the fire that you used to have for Christ and replaced it with guilt. You no longer pray like you used to. You've lost the connection you have with the Father. And as the days go by, your life is becoming more of a joke to you. Your life, my dear, has turned into the new playground for the enemy, that he does whatever he feels like doing. And although you don't like it, you cannot stop him, because he'll always remind you of your secret sins. The more you think about what you've done, you feel unworthy, and so the devil gives you more and more reasons why you should continue in that sin. Beloved, I know you feel it in your heart that you're under the bondage of sin. You want to come out of it, but every time you try, you find yourself going back to that same place. But starting from this moment, you're going to have the grace to say no whenever you want to go back to that sin. God is setting you free from the bondage of sin and giving you a new identity. The Bible speaks in the book of Acts 13 verse 38 to 39 and says, So let it be known and understood by you, brethren, that through this man forgiveness and removal of sins is now proclaimed to you, and that through him everyone who believes, who acknowledges Jesus as his Savior and devotes himself to him, is absolved, cleared and freed from every charge from which he could not be justified and freed by the law of Moses and given right standing with God. Because of Jesus Christ, you are free from the bondage of sin that the devil is keeping you under. It says, anyone who acknowledges Jesus as his Lord and Savior is free indeed. What is that sin that you think it's so big that you're not deserving of forgiveness? No matter how big the devil has made it look, it's only a trap. God is capable of freeing you from it no matter the number of times you've fallen into it. Don't allow guilt to stop you from receiving it. There's liberty in Christ and peace, and by the grace of God, all the chains of sin are falling off your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will get the grace to overcome this sin and live in the freedom of Christ. God is setting you free from bondage today, and every yoke of the enemy that you're under is broken in the name of Jesus. There are certain covenants that we've entered, or our parents entered. It is passed from generation to generation, but this is going to be the last bus stop in the name of Jesus. We suffer for the covenant that we might have entered, knowingly or unknowingly. It is convenient that we enter with the enemy because we did not know that it was what we were doing. And there are certain places that we've also entered that has brought us under the bondage of the enemy. From the day we entered that place, it's been from one challenge to another. 
we wonder what went wrong, but the devil has blinded our eyes from seeing it. God is setting you free from that bondage today, and your life is going to fall back in shape. It's going to be better than it used to be. No matter what the devil is using to keep the covenant, it will be broken, because God has said it, and nothing can stop it. The book of Galatians 5 verse 1 says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free, and do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Stand fast in the liberty by which Christ has made you free. The devil has no power to take you back into that yoke again, no matter what he had over you. He who the Son of Man has set free is free indeed. You are stepping out of that yoke of poverty into the fullness of the riches of God, stepping out of that barrenness into His fruitfulness. You will begin to bear fruit in all areas of your life. Whatever difficult situation that you're in, and the enemies kept you for a long time, you're stepping out of it by the power in the blood of the Lamb. His blood has been shed on your behalf to break you off from any chains and bondage of the enemy. No man, both spirit and physical, has the power to keep you trapped. The bondage of sickness is also been broken, and you will experience perfect health like never before. As God is setting you free from all the bondage of the enemy, please do whatever it takes not to be entangled with that yoke. Stay away from sin and be focused on the Lamb of God. Separate yourself from any practice that brings you under any bondage of the enemy and stick to the ways of the Lord. Remember that he who is set free by the Lord is free indeed. Your chains are gone, the yoke is broken, and you are free to live in the fullness of God. May the Lord order and direct your steps to stop you from going to places that keep you under bondage and may also give you the grace to fight against any bondage that the devil brings. Amen.